Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. We're walking into a really nice studio at 725 Washington, number 203. <clears throat> this apartment has just been remodeled, so you'll notice the carpet. The carpet is brand new. Everything's newly painted. There's a big closet in the living room uh, and a new galley kitchen. So all the cabinets, the counters, the sinks, everything is brand new. 725 Washington is a block from Maine and Chicago Avenue. So you're close to both trains, all the buses, the grocery stores, even the lake. It's just a terrific location. I'm going to walk into the uh, living area. If we turn to our left, we see more closet, more storage, what would have been called the dressing room once upon a time. And the bath has also been remodeled. So that's squeaky clean. So let's go look from the uh, dressing area. We look across the living room. Living room is probably maybe 12 or 13 feet long by not quite 12 feet across, maybe 11, 11 and a half feet across. Nice big space. If we go across, we see all the appliances are brand new. The stove is brand new, never been used. We open it up, it's squeaky clean. Microwave is the same way. Oops. Brand new, never been used. Stainless steel sink with a hose attachment. Water pressure is terrific. And all the cabinets are new, so of course under here it's going to be squeaky clean. Oops, the Very easily used for storage. You can see it drains very well. The cabinets above are probably 30 inches high and about 10 inches deep. We have two of those. Then we have a couple of the same sort of cabinets that are a little shorter. The one to the far left is probably two feet. That's probably 15 inches in the middle over the microwave. The countertop looks like rock. It's actually a laminate, but it's very pretty. We have an, uh, an outlet there. We have four drawers and another cabinet. So I'm just going to open the drawers for you so you can see. There you go. There, there are the drawers. and There's four of them. And then there's a deeper cabinet like the one under the sink underneath. And if I step back, you can see there's a little shelf there but what's nice about the deeper cabinets is you can put your pots and pans and appliances in there and i'm going to continue to move so we'll go over and take a look at the fridge freezer again this is brand new the freezer on top it's never been used fridge underneath with a crisper drawer paperwork still in there shelves to the right. So everything really is brand spanking new and just super clean. Outlet there for coffee maker or George Foreman grill. Really very nice. Then next to the kitchen is a big living room closet. This is probably six feet across and just about maybe not quite two feet wide. We have shelves to the right, and the shelves are the type that have that bar underneath that can be used to hold hangers. You've got two of those. And then shelves to the left, whoops, and a hanging bar underneath. There's a window there, but that's not really functional anymore. So again, the, the carpet is squeaky clean. The closet has its own light fixture. And from the corner of the room, if we look up, we see the front door and we get to the dining area. Now, I haven't said so, but the living room does have a ceiling fan, which is super helpful in the warm weather. Okay, let's walk in here. If we go to our right, we see the bath. In front of us, we have a little bit of space for a dresser as well as a cabinet above. The cabinet's pretty high up, so you could store a lot in there. 
uh, basically one shelf going across and then you can use the bottom as another shelf. These uh, closets in here, oops a daisy, I'm going to go like that because this really is one contiguous space. And if I show you the bottom, you can sort of see how big this space is. Probably a little less than four feet across. Um, we can put a hanging bar up there for you so you can use this for hangers. We don't have one currently, but we'll put one up there for you. So that would be the hanging part of the closet. And then we have shelves to the right. And we have three shelves to the right. Then above that, there's more storage space, which is just sort of a, a open area, good for blankets, things like that. Underneath, we have drawers that can be used. Originally, we were intended for shoes and that kind of thing. And that's probably about five feet across. So shoes, sweaters, blankets, hanging stuff, big closet space for a smaller apartment. Really very nice. And again, we would have called this a dressing room once upon a time. And it has its own light fixture. We have these cabinets here with another light fixture. And then we get to the bath. Standard vintage tiles, but everything else is kind of new. Standard commode, newer sink, cabinet underneath, new medicine cabinet, brand new shower tub area, which I think that tile work is really nice. So let's turn this on. Great water pressure. Again, this is new, so I know it's squeaky clean. And it is nice and dry. Good water pressure. Everything drains well. The medicine cabinet looks like that. It's a mirror when you close them. It has shelves when you open it. See the outlet there for hair dryers, etc. And then we get to look again at the now that shower head's probably about six foot five in the air. And you can see all the tiles are just squeaky clean. And the tub has been re-enameled. It's a cast iron tub, so it's not brand new, but it sure looks new. The um, windows were put in about six or eight years ago. So those are newer and vinyl windows and will open easily. Oops, go all the way to the hot. See, we have good water pressure again. And let's see if you can see that coming out. But that's coming out pretty good steam. And again, the tub is gorgeous. You can barely see the water in the tub, but it is draining really well. So I'll shut this down. And let the rest drain out. And I will just stand back. So the, the bathroom and the kitchen area are really very nice. They look terrific. Standard commode. And then you have the closet space in the dressing area. A couple of cabinets there and more space whoops, for furniture if you wanted to put it under the cabinets. If we look across, we have a new galley kitchen, more closet space. Like I said, the closet space for a smaller apartment is terrific. New carpet. It's a great location near all of the transportation, groceries, restaurants, coffee, and the lake. And that brings me back to the front door. Thanks for watching.